music was my biggest uh, passion when I was a kid. Um, and I was like, well, you know, I never uh, really got the chance to, to be a kid trackside watching cars when I was younger, but I have the opportunity to do it now, right? I go to events, I, I can get up close to these cars, I can meet the, the people who drove them. Um, and so I, I came up with that concept and that why and that purpose to, to kind of bring that nostalgia to, um, to people who also have a very similar experience. So that was my original goal, right? As I was doing that, what I learned, what I've learned so far, is that it, you don't have to be a kid from the 80s and 90s to appreciate it. Surprisingly, the kids that are growing up in the car culture right now, whether you be a teenager in your 20s or even in your 30s, you want to know more about that stuff. Um, and that, to me, has been really a need to be able to, to share that with those enthusiasts. Like, oh, I didn't know that about that car, or I had no idea about that story. And, you know, sharing a little bit of education around that, also learning myself, because a lot of the stuff I also didn't really know about too much, is part of the overall uh, benefit that I've had in doing it the last two and a half years, is that it's really um, a shared thing. It's a community thing, just like the Porsche community was. Um, and, uh, and to me, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. My name is Eric Pasha. I'm the founder of Last Era Brand. It really was a, a continue to, to think and challenge myself to, to find something a little bit more analog. And that's how I got to the 993. The 993 represents, for me, um, one of the, the most um, kind of raw feeling vehicles that I've ever been in, right? Um, because it doesn't have any of those advanced electronics that the E60 F5 had, or even if you kept going backwards like I did. And there was a period of time when I wanted a 993 so I could build an RWB, which is to some, uh, you know, an extreme side of the spectrum in terms of building a Porsche. But then uh, when I bought this car, I said, well, I really want to kind of be a little bit more restrained in the way that I build this car uh, to not only reflect that tribute to the RS, but also uh, be a little bit more personal. So when you walk around my car, you'll notice things that are, are very similar to an RS. The whole aero kit is RS, from the front lip to the, the side skirts to the, the big wing in the back. <laughs> Interior, oh, the wheels are our Kinesis Super Cups, which is original Speedline wheels that were on the RS as well. You don't know when to stop. And that's the hardest part about building the car. Like, it really is a, a shift in my entire view of older vehicles, right? And that's kind of what triggered my love and my, my idea around, around starting last year.
two and a half years ago, uh, when I finished the first phase of this RS build, um, I took it to California on a road trip to attend uh, one of the really big Porsche air-cooled shows called Luftkukul, Luft for short. And so when I, when I went there, I was really blown away by that whole culture and that whole community. Um, and, you know, bringing the car for the first time uh, was a really neat experience for me um, because then I got to meet a lot of the guys and gals that I interact with on social media and actually see a lot of their cars and talk to them and connect with them. And, um, and that really got me thinking when I came back about, you know, this, the whole air-cooled community, um, that experience. And I said, you know, I drive a 993. It's the last of the air-cooled era. I've always loved motorsport. I know that, uh, you know, I'm not getting any younger. Um, if I want to do something, I should do it now. And so I started doodling on a napkin, which sounds pretty cliche, but I actually was doodling on a napkin uh, and trying to figure out what would I call a business that I would start and what would it be? I would always go to these events and I would never find anything that I would like to actually buy and wear. And you were just buying it because you wanted to take home with you a piece of that experience, right? To remember it by. And so you spent $40 on a t-shirt at an event and maybe you didn't even really even wear it, right? <laughs> what if I made some apparel that is really inspired, I curated in the sense that it, it's, it's really representative of something important in the history of motorsport. But it's also, um, you know, things that I would want to wear, right? And things that are high quality and, um, and really well made. Um, and so when I was doodling on that napkin, air-cooled, era, last of the air cooled, last era, right? I came up with the name and then I needed to come up with the logo. And I said, well, what am, what's my why behind all of this? My why is, you know, five-year-old kid who loved cars growing up in the 80s and 90s, not just cars, but racing. Like racing was my, my, my biggest uh, passion when I was a kid. And I said, okay, everybody, here's what I'm trying to do. Here's my why. Follow along with this journey. I know it may kind of be a little bit rough at times. I don't know what I'm doing. And I was very uh, clear about that. But if you're willing to kind of watch along and help and support, um, I'll keep doing it. And it'll help motivate me.